CRD TV. I'm here at Hayden Road uh, for this uh, Bill Bates FA Trophy first qualifying round game between uh, the Diamonds and Bambi United. Tuesday's ended in a 2 1 win for the Diamonds, and today's ended in a 0 0, so we go for a third time next Tuesday. I'm here with man of the match, Nathan Hicks. Nathan, I think uh, you couldn't have asked for more for the team. Awful conditions, but I suppose uh, we should have won that really with the chances we had. Yeah, like you say, we had a few, we had a few chances, but I think the uh, most important thing we've got. Um, Clean sheet. Uh, I think one of the, um, kind of the last time we got a clean sheet, so that's always good to base. We had a good game plan. Obviously, know they're, they're a good team, so we come with a good play, game plan. But in the end of the day, we'll take a good little um, a draw and we'll go again Tuesday. I mean, both you and Faz, I think, got bookings in that first half. I'm not sure the referee played the conditions. Yeah, like I say, the conditions were, were, they were tough out there today. But like I say, um, we've got a yellow card, we took Faz off at the end, a bit, bit of caution. But I thought all the boys dug deep today, and like I say, we'll go again Tuesday. Hopefully, we'll go again and get the result then. I mean, we started off brightly, didn't we? But uh, I think uh, the manager probably would say that the final ball wasn't for that first half wasn't quite good enough. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we had, a, we had a few times we should have scored. Even myself at the end, um, if we get it across the goal or should have, should have scored as well. But you said like Bully's header we had there, Alex Pollard had the one in the first half as well, but it's one of them days we weren't meant to be today. But like you say, um, we'll take the um, draw and again Tuesday. And if you uh, think of your results recently, I mean, this team's Bambi up in the top, uh, top six. Um, we outplayed them today, probably. Yeah, definitely. We know, like I say, um, on Tuesday, they were second in the league start after start, after, um, start after the game. So always know they, they were going to be tough. They've got some good players in the, in the squad. Um, but we had a good game plan today, and I thought we stuck to it well. And like I say, we'll take the draw. And like I say, I say it again, we'll go again Tuesday, hopefully we can get the result there. And uh, as one of the experienced players, I can say that now, can I? All these youngsters <laughs> are doing well, aren't they? Yeah, I know, yeah. So like I say, I'm one of the experienced ones now, 28 year old. But we've got some good players coming in. Peaks brought in some really good lads coming in now, do you know what I mean? Some um, a few lads from Cobblers as well, and young lads coming on the bench. I thought they really, they've been um, really well. Hopefully, that us oldies can um, guide them in, and that'll be good for the future. And Monday, we're in the bag, we're at least in the draw, and Tuesday, we go again, nothing to lose, everything to play for. Yeah, that's the main thing. Like I say, we're in the draw for Monday. Um, we draw for Monday, that's the main thing. And obviously, we'll go there Tuesday and get the result again, and we'll go again Thursday and get the result on Saturday. I mean, that's where the management to ask you the question what happened at the end when you uh, converted? <laughs> I think I'd have seen the headlines at the end. I just fucking opened my body up too much and it's just gone fucking in the house, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On another day, they go top bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully that'll happen Tuesday, mate. Thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm now here with manager Andy Peaks. Andy, uh, you must be pleased with the performance, but obviously disappointed we didn't get the final goal to get that victory, but we go again Tuesday. Yeah, disappointed just sitting there, really. Um, delighted to be in the hat, obviously. Um, delighted with the performance. Um, didn't get quite over the line today. Played loads of good stuff. Probably, I think we probably played better today than we did Tuesday. Um, limited their opportunities a lot more than we did Tuesday. Um, had good spells of pressure. Um, for me, first half, we didn't have enough quality in the final third. And second half, I thought we had more quality and just didn't really take the chance we had. The keeper made some saves, but I felt we perhaps should have worked them a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I was saying, I stood behind you in the, uh, in the, behind the dugout in that first half, and I think you were saying we started really bright the first 20 minutes, but we just didn't get that ball and we were getting down the sides, uh, but couldn't get the quality in there to get that final touch. No, exactly that. We had plenty of spell. First 20 minutes, we had loads of the ball. So it got in good areas, didn't really hurt them. The balls didn't work good enough. Um, they grew into it, to be fair, first half, and they probably shaded the second part of the first half. A lot of possession without really hurting us. I thought the shape worked really well today. I thought in the second half, I thought we controlled it. Massively uh, made some changes which could have worked. Um, I thought Sonny was excellent when he came on. Obviously, I was conscious of people having bookings in these conditions and didn't want to go down to 10 because it makes it difficult, as we've found both for us and teams against us. So that was mindful. Um, so we made a couple of changes and I thought it strengthened us, to be honest. Um, it just wouldn't go over the line, would it? We got in good areas, say so just nothing would drop for us quite right as well. Um, but we live to fight another day and say, Clean sheet was massive for me. You know, we've cut the last couple of weeks been dying out for that. And, you know, I thought we've come a long way in the last two weeks. I Meaning, our centre halves have been really good in the penalty box. Alex had a chance in the first half, and then I thought Bully scored. It was a, it was a really good save, though, wasn't it? It was a good save, but by Bully's own admission, he never got a good header on it. It's his shoulder more, um, and he'd expect to score. The goalie did make a good save, and Alex first half should score. You know, you score them, you win two 0 That's without the other chances when Shanks has gone through, and Jack's had a good chance when he's come on, and Morgan's had a couple of shots as a score underneath at the post, and Ben Akoye. But it's good. We're talking about loads of positives and things we've created. We've had times here where we've said, "Oh, we ain't created nothing." We couldn't say that today against, you know, as we said, a really good team. You brought Ben Akoye on. What was the thinking there? I thought Jordan looked a little bit tired, and I just wanted to stretch the game a little bit more. Um, you know, Jordan's come into it the other night. He's had two tough games at this level. Um, and again, he'd been booked a lot of his plays about shutting people down and stopping them, and he can't afford to do that because I wasn't prepared for him or Faz to get a second booking because it means you miss them for games to come, and, and equally you miss them today. So that was my thinking, and I think we've got enough on the bench to shuffle it around like that at times. And I thought Ben would cause a different problem, and I thought he did that at times. He looked really dangerous. 
but they put their lives on the line, didn't they? They defended like we defend, and I suppose that's uh, they'll take that, and uh, it'll be tough on Tuesday. Yeah, of course it will. They'll, they'll, they'll be delighted with the result. You know, they'll fancy their chances now at home. Why wouldn't they in their position? Um, but you know, I'll say we've come a long way in the last couple of weeks, and again, the way we're playing at the moment, we'll go there, we'll give it a good shot, and you know, we've got nothing to fear if we set up right and we defend well and keep the ball well. It's a game we can go and win. And any injury news? I mean, I think Ryan Dove might be out for another week or two. Yeah, I think he saw he cracked three ribs last week, which testimony to him that he carried on with it. I wonder if he's in a bit of pain with three crack. It must be tough. Um, but he won't be long term. Um, but he's pretty much the only one at the moment. Obviously, Jack Ashton is now back available. Um, Sam Brown did brilliant to play today after a real bad dead leg. He was touch and go right up till two o'clock, really. Uh, but he's got through it, so hopefully we'll be better. So, yeah, we're looking good. So, the squad's looking good. Um, like I said, I'm happy where we are. And so, I think we've come a long way in the last couple of weeks, as I expected us to. And for me, a special mention for Tom Green. I thought he, he struggled this season, but I thought that was one of his better games. He really worked he, hard, didn't he? He was, he was a handful today. I thought the longer it went on, again, I, I wanted to take him off the I didn't want to risk him blowing up. Uh, but he was a threat. You know, these, the pitches are going to start to suit him now. We know he's not one for the Astros or the real rock hard pitches. He likes it like this um, in the mud. You know, running in the groove like that. And he was good. He could have done better in the final third by his own admission a couple of times, I would guess. But yeah, he's a handful. We know what he brings to the club. He's done it for a long time. So that's a plus. And yeah, I think there's loads of positives for me. We should probably be talking about us going through to the next round. And we haven't. That's the only disappointment. Awful game, awful conditions, but uh, another good game of football. And uh, we've had two against them. Hopefully, there'll be another one on Tuesday. Yeah, that's, I hope it's a horrible game, actually. And we're all from win 1 0, to be honest, because, you know, today, but today was good. You know, we've all said here we want to be exciting. I think everyone who came here today must have thought they played some good stuff and put a shift in. And on another day, you could beat a team that are right up there. So, let's say loads of positives to take from it, and we'll go again. Let's get in the drive, mate. Cheers. I don't need love.